Hello and welcome to another Stuff.TV video review. Today I've got my hands on the Sony Ericsson Walkman phone, the W890. Now it's the update to the very popular W880, which was notable not only for being very slim, but for also being number six on the 2007 Stuff call list. So how does the next generation fare up? Well, I'm glad to say Sony Ericsson have kept it very slim, just 10 millimeters across, but still packed in some very impressive features. It's got HSDPA for fast downloading. It's got a 3.2 megapixel camera there, an FM radio, and also a two gig M2 memory stick in the box, which is enough for about 500 average size MP3s. Now, looks wise, it's now got slinky beveled edges and rounded corners, which will make it even more pocketable than the 880. It's also grown some adult sized keys, not the braille like bumps on the 880. So the W890 is gonna be a lot more friendly for your thumbs when you're texting. Now it is a Walkman phone and it's packing Sony Ericsson's third generation Walkman software, which you get to through this dedicated Walkman button there. That's very easy to use for one, and the audio performance is very dynamic, especially when combined with something like Megabase. Unfortunately, we're still not given a 3.5 millimeter jack, so you will need an adapter if you want to use your own headphones and not the ones in the box. Why not just get rid of cables altogether and use the A2DP stereo Bluetooth and a good pair of Bluetooth headphones? It also comes with a new look media manager for your PC, which clobs together all your multimedia and your music and your CD ripping, and I'm glad to say it's a lot easier to use than some of the earlier PC suites. Now, it's also got this one-touch media button that we first saw in the W910, which is a very easy way to get to your video, music, and your photo. Let's just go into music here. Just like iTunes, easily get to artists, albums, tracks, space down there for your podcasts and your audiobooks too. And the Sends Me system, which allows you to tag songs according to your mood. Camera-wise, 3.2 megapixel camera. It's going to be good for daylight shots or conditions where it's light, like here. But when you're in low light conditions, it's not going to be so good because it lacks autofocus and also, crucially, a flash. It's not a cyber shot phone. But it does shoot video in respectable QVGA at 30 frames per second. So all in all, the Sony Ericsson W890, it may not have the accelerometers or shake controls of the W910, but if you do like your phones fast, sexy, slim, light, then check out the Sony Ericsson W890.